Okay, now in this one, we are going to take a look at Cypress Studio, which will help us create test scripts faster. So let's take a look at it. Here, it's still in experimental mode. In order to use us, we need to go to Cypress config. And here we already have define config. So we don't have to do that. In the module export, define, okay, end to end. Okay, we just need to add this right here in the end to end object. I'm going to restart my Cypress. Okay, now I'm going to click here to add a new test to my my web app scenario. So I'll click here and we're going to type our URL right here. Make sure you put the HTTPS. So right after here, I want to click on add person. And here I want to type test first name and then last name I'm going to put user and as you can see it actually creates some of the it creates some of the steps automatically I'm going to type my email and for the start date I'm going to pick today and then I'll just type my street address and I will hit save okay here I want to make sure I see this user save successfully text which is I'm going to create a I'll, I'll right click on it and I want to make sure I see this test have user successfully test and boom, that's about it. So I'll save my commands and I'll just say add person. So I can log in will fail because we were already logged in. I'll fix that after this. It looks like this one doesn't work because we picked it from HTML5. So we can fix that real quick. Go back to our thing. And I want to fix some of the problems around here. Looks like there's some weird stuff here. Let's just remove those. We don't need to actually click. And I'll just type QA engineer or street address. And that's about it. So here I want to quickly pick my start date. Copy this guy right after selecting thing. I'll just say. And what I'm going to say here is the month, date, and then the year. I'll just rerun this test again real quick. Okay, looks like we need to put in date format because this is html5 format and it requires some different way to put in this let's do month and then the date okay now add person is successful but we have a login test is failing all the time because we were already logged in so how we can separate this out in the next one, we are going to take a look at how we can separate our login test and then reutilize that in other test cases to make sure it works all the time. So stay tuned. See you in the next one.